cows. You think you know what they look like. You've seen a brown cow. You've seen a black and white cow. Surely that's the whole selection, right? Wrong. The world of the bovine is actually full of many unique oddities and rarities that showcase just how truly one of a kind a cow can actually be. These are the most unique cows in the world. Number 15, Jersey. You're probably wondering how a cow that's so common is so unique, but there has to be a reason why it's so common, right? Unlike most other cattle breeds, the Jersey cow just ticks so many of the boxes that farmers need. They are the most recognized cattle breed in the world and come from the Channel Island of Jersey. They were first bred in the 1700s and continue to be the go-to breed for many farmers. Jersey cows are small-framed, dainty, and have beautiful, long eyelashes. Of course, that would only really matter if you were to put them in a beauty contest. They have a fawn coat, but can also be born with a dark, nearly black coat, too. What makes them quite popular is that they are adaptable to extreme temperatures. Their coats thicken in winter, and they handle plenty of sunshine also. Rough terrain is no problem for them either, thanks to their hard feet. While they're one of the most aggressive cattle breeds, they make up for it in their milking abilities and overall pleasant temper. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Number 14, Chianina. As far as bovines go, the Chianino would have to be one of the more intriguing varieties. In fact, its history might move you. It hails from Italy and has been slogging away as a draft animal since ancient Rome, and even as far back as the Bronze Age. The Chianea was domesticated in Africa and Asia, and over the years has been bred for its pulling capabilities and meat. Even today, it is one of the oldest breeds in existence. Cows and bulls can weigh up to 2,800 pounds, and the bulls can stand as high as 5 feet 8 inches tall. The cow is a little shorter at around 5 feet tall at the shoulder. Given how massive these cows are, no one would blame you for being a little scared of them. But in saying that, you might be surprised by how docile they are. I mean, sure, they're huge, but they were bred as draft animals, which means they need to have a docile temperament to be around people. This white beauty will surprise you with how unique and calm it really is. Number 13, South Devon. If you see a giant red cow wandering around the United Kingdom on your travels, then you've just stumbled across the largest cow breed in Britain, the South Devon. This fluffy, fuzzy cow can either be a vibrant medium red color or a coppery tone. They can also be seen with or without horns and in most parts of the United Kingdom. So what makes the South Devon so unique? Well, their size plays a huge part. They are giant. They're mostly bred for meat and the female cow averages around 1,500 pounds. The bull is even heavier, tipping the scales at about 3,500 pounds. The largest South Devon bull ever recorded weighed a whopping 4,400 pounds. Aside from their weight, though, this cow has a lot to offer. The bulls grow fast, both in size and maturity. The cows also mature early, which means they're ripe for calving long before many other breeds. Basically, they're a cattle rancher's dream breed. The icing on the cake is their hardiness. The United Kingdom isn't exactly known as a tropical paradise, so they are well equipped to handle all kinds of terrible, depressing British weather conditions. Number 12, Maine Anjou. In the 19th century, farmers in France were looking for a breed of cow that would fatten quickly, have decent muscles like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and grow big and strong. The answer came in the Maine Anjou, which at the time was known as the Manchel breed. The Manchel breed really knew how to woo a farmer. They ticked all the boxes for growth and size, and they took off in popularity around the northwestern parts of France. But farmers weren't finished with them yet, and like an artist, they were all about creating perfection. 
The Count de Falau imported Durham cattle from England in 1839 and crossed them with the Manchel breed. It was a total success, and farmers across France were jumping at the chance to own this new cow that was clearing out trophy shelves at agricultural shows. Such was their popularity that the Society of Durham Manchel Breeders was established in 1908, and the name of the cow was changed to Maine Anjou after the River Valleys the following year. Today, the Maine Anjou cow is known for its performance, carcass quality, and feed efficiency. As far as profitability goes, they are the cash cow of the cattle world. Number 11. The Glan. Farmers are always trying to find that winning recipe in the agricultural world. The cow that produces the most meat, the sheep that has the purest wool. Any farmers of the gland breed of cattle will likely be all too happy to tell you that they've struck gold. While there are only around 2,000 gland cattle in the world, which makes them one of the rarest breeds, they're a pretty unique type of cattle for a range of other reasons as well. Blue bargain, that's with free delivery as well. So she seems Gland cattle come from the Rhineland Palatinate region of Germany and date back to around the 18th century. They were initially bred from brown Swiss cattle with the goal of improving the local small red breed. The result was the Glan, and it became quite popular. People started crossing the Glan with the Gelbvi cattle, which meant it went from not only being desirable for meat and milk, but for drafting too. It was an all-around useful bovine. But then, farmers got a bit too curious and carried away and started crossing it with the Danish red cattle. All of a sudden, it lost its usefulness for either beef or milk, and people moved away from Glan altogether. The breed was abandoned in the 1960s, but associations for preservation of the breed have been popping up ever since. Number 10. The German Angus. When you hear the word Angus, two things might come to mind. You think about those delicious, juicy Angus burger patties from McDonald's, or you start thinking about your friend called Angus, who you should really call to catch up with one of these days. The German Angus falls into the former category. They produce delicious beef that can't help but make you salivate. The breed was developed in the 1950s by crossing Fleck V, Gelb V, and the German Black Pied cattle with the Aberdeen Angus cattle. The result was a robust, meaty cow that was larger and heavier than any of its original breeds. The third week of having egg sacs. I know some people might- the Farmers were mad scientists when they came up with the idea of a German Angus. They wanted a cow that was pleasant to deal with, but was also hornless with a low fat content and a lot of meat. It would also be ideal if they had high milk yields. They struck it lucky with the German Angus, and it's a popular breed even to this day. They grow up to around 2,600 pounds, and they tick all the boxes for growth, meat production, and milk. No wonder they're a preferred breed throughout Germany. Number 9. Montbelliard. If you're a huge cheese fan and want an endless supply of the good stuff, then beg your farming family to invest in the Montbelliard breed of cattle to make it happen. While their milk yields are not as excellent as Holstein Friesen's, they have plenty of other features to make them worth your while. They originally come from France, and their primary purpose is dairy production. In saying that, they also produce some mighty fine beef. They come from the Bernoise cattle line and used to be known as Alsatian cattle before being named after the Montbelliard region in France. They have white heads, red and white bodies, and sturdy feet to handle all kinds of terrain. Their udders and skin are quite sensitive, but they're generally pretty hardy. They're by no means small either, weighing up to about 2,600 pounds. If you're not a fan of horned cattle for the danger factor, then Montbelliard is perhaps not a breed to mess with. You may prefer to choose polled cattle that can create that delicious cheese, but without the stress and hassle of dehorning. Number 8. The Parthenay. If there were a competition for the most attractive looking bovine, then the exotic looking Parthenase would take the top spot. 
With gray, blonde, light brown, and weedish coloring, there's no denying this breed is all about looking stunning while producing the goods. Parthenay's cattle come from France, but have been a popular addition on farms in Ireland since the late 1990s. They've been around in western France since the 1800s, which makes them one of the oldest breeds in the country. The Parthenay's cow has a lot to offer, and has a decent reputation in the realm of milk production and beef. In fact, they make such good dairy cows that people actually sought out Parthenay's cow milk throughout France in earlier centuries. Now, though, most people are all about that delicious, meaty steak. And they have plenty of it to offer. The bull will grow up to around 2,800 pounds, while the cow is no Slim Jim at 2,200 pounds. They also have a fine bone structure, but a lot of muscle. As far as unique, desirable cows go, the Parthenays ticks all the boxes. Number 7. Limousin Nothing says tried and true like a bovine that nearly predates the European continent itself. The Limousin cattle is that old that there are cave drawings in the Lascaux Caves in Montignac, France that look just like it. So if something's been around for that long, it must be worth farming, right? Yeah, that sounds about right, with this breed of bovine at least. The Limousin came from the massive central between southwest and central France. It's favored for how robust and hardy it is. If it were a plant, this breed would be a cactus. The area it comes from is known for its rain and harsh conditions. The poor granite soil also doesn't exactly produce lush grass either. Therefore, any animals that were to be farmed there needed to put up with some trying conditions. Limousin were up to the task. They were sturdy, healthy, and adaptable, and didn't even mind the terrible food. The breed is pretty unique in its looks as well. It has a strong-boned frame, a short neck, and a broad muzzle and forehead. Males weigh up to around 2,200 pounds, while females tip the scales at about 1,400 pounds. Number 6. Baza Day. If you've ever found yourself lying on the ground sweating with aching muscles after carting piles of wood, then maybe you should have raised Baza Days. Curiosity Stream. This cattle breed is that strong and hardy that they were often bred and used for hauling cut timber from forests. With machinery taking over their job and making them redundant, they were then raised for their meat instead. The Bazadais bovine breed comes from France, and they are that popular that there's even a festival called Fête des Bousses Grass that celebrates the fattened stock and their meat. Definitely nailed the pronunciation of that festival, by the way. Even though they've got a lot going for them, their numbers have long been in decline. In 1940, there were around 60,000 of them, but that had dropped to just 700 by the 1970s. With conservation and recovery efforts, that number rose to about 3,400 on 140 farms by 2013. They are also found not only in France, but in Spain, Chile, the UK, and Australia. You won't find them carton wood, but you will find them with their beautiful gray coloring and waxy yellow horns being fattened for beef. Number 5. Share away. If you're looking for a unique cow to cross with another unique cow, then Cherelet will likely fit the bill. Since the breed was recognized in 1775, it has been favored for its success across multiple other breeds. It's a light, cream-colored breed with huge horns and a massive body. It is undoubtedly these features that make it stand out from the crowd. Initially, Cherelet were bred for drafting, but then farmers decided that it actually produced some pretty decent beef as well. It wasn't long before breeders jumped on the bandwagon to breed the Cherelet features into their own breeds. The most popular crossbreed with the Cherelet is the Brahmin. The result is a cow that's a winner on the beef and dairy scene doesn't get much more desirable than that. While it originates in France, it made its way to the U.S. in 1936 from a herd in Mexico. However, as disease struck French herds, imports slowed down. Today, though, it remains as a reasonably desired breed, not to mention a unique one for all of its profitable properties it brings to the table. Number 4. Brown Swiss Brown Swiss. That sounds like some type of ice cream or cheese, right? Well, it's actually the name of a Switzerland cow, and potentially one of the oldest in existence. 
The brown Swiss cow is lightly brown or gray, but can also be darker shades of each of these colors. They were bred for dairy production in the United States, but they are dual-purpose cows elsewhere in the world. Brown Swiss cows differ from other breeds in many ways. Their flesh is thicker, their bones heavier, and they are wonderful milkers, which is what every dairy factory owner wants to hear. The butterfat content of their milk far surpasses that of many other breeds. They also have the closest protein to fat ratio of any dairy breed, while still milking up to around 15 years old. Once word got out of this cow's liquid gold, it wasn't long until other countries wanted a piece of the pie, or a piece of the cow, so to speak. Now, you can find it in the United States, South America, Italy, Austria, and even Hungary. Number 3. Belted Galloway Animals, like humans, can become miserable in wet conditions. It can even make them sick. So if you're a farmer in a damp, boggy area like Western Scotland or Ireland, then you'll probably be looking for cows and bulls that can handle the conditions. The Belted Galloway not only handles them, but thrives in them. This breed of cow is from Western Scotland and knows nothing other than wet, cold conditions and soft terrain. They have a long, curly outer coat, a moisture-deflecting coarse layer, and soft undercoat for that extra bit of comfort. Even in frost, this cow knows how to look after itself. It has long ear hairs that keep it from getting frostbite on those bitterly cold mornings and evenings. Belted Galloways are often called Belties or Oreo cows because they have dark brown or black heads and shoulder areas, a white belt, and a black or brown rear end. It's hard not to imagine a delicious Oreo with that image. They are also a naturally pulled breed, which means farmers don't need to go through the stress of dehorning them, and they have a high fertility rate to result in up to two calves per year. Everything about this cow is unique and special, and they are a desirable cattle for their beef. Number 2. The Belgian Blue if you live somewhere reasonably warm, then there's likely to be no shortage of Belgian blue cows in paddocks around you. But how on earth are you supposed to spot a particular breed of cow if you're not from the farming world? Trust us, you won't miss the Belgian blue. With bulging double muscles, a massive frame, and a fur color of either white, blue, red, black, or roan, they stand out like a sore thumb. They come from Belgium in mainland Europe and are thought to be a cross between a Charolais and a Shorthorn. The resultant breed is something out of this world. They have an extremely muscly frame, a well-defined back, and the bull can weigh as much as 2,800 pounds. Even the cow is quite large and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Because of how much muscle they have, but little fat and thin skin, these are not cows that'll do all that well in cold, rainy conditions. They prefer temperature oceanic climates and would sulk with weather extremes. Still, they managed to survive in Ireland and the UK pretty well. Number 1. Brahmin. Don't have a cow, man. This is the Brahmin. The Brahmin, or Brahma, is the terminator of the cow world. As in, it can handle almost anything. Okay, so it's no cockroach and wouldn't stand up to a nuclear attack, but famine, disease, you name it, this cow can handle it. The Brahmin originated from Bas Indicus, Indian cattle that were known as the sacred cattle of India. Throughout the centuries they have existed, they have been faced with insect pests, disease, parasites, weather extremes, and minimal food. You would think such conditions would see this breed wiped out, but it's done the opposite. It's just resulted in a robust cow that has the remarkable feature of just surviving. Like a cockroach, you just can't kill it. United States breeders liked what they saw, so they took the three strains of Indian cattle, Nilor, Gear, and Guzerat, and created this super breed of Brahmin that would prove to have the very resilience cattle breeders were looking for. They grow quickly, are tame, and have a lot of muscle for a cow that's used to starvation. They also have a large hump on their shoulders and neck. It's not uncommon for their coloring to be quite unique too, ranging from light gray to red or black. Are you moved by what we had to share? Did you count how many cows featured in our video? Okay, we're done with the puns. What cow surprised you the most? 
Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.